let Mandy say into this also, but uh, I, I would say that um, the way that I did it, when we were on the American Idol tour, uh, Phil and I would, would talk about this a lot. I was like, man, I, I want to soak every minute of this in because I don't know if I'll ever get to play arenas again. You know, I'm used to playing sweaty clubs where 12 people show up when they tell you there's going to be a thousand. So, you know, I just tried to soak every every minute of that in as much as I could and, and just enjoy. I'm kind of the eternal optimist, though, but somebody else may have a different opinion. I will say that being on American Idol, it's really difficult to maintain humility. I've seen it from, I've seen it in myself and I've seen it in a lot of other people who have been on it because to go from nobody knowing your name or being able to pronounce your name to all of a sudden, you know, be you being a household name, it's very difficult to maintain that. But I will say that the Lord has a way. If you're not going to humble yourself, he's going to humble you. And so I, I find that that has been the struggle for me, but I'm so thankful. You know, I used to think I was upset for being eliminated in ninth place, but now I can look back and thank the Lord that I was eliminated the ninth because I can I see how pride was starting to creep up and I am thankful that he was allowed to humble me before it got out of control and I can say the same thing tonight that you know being nominated with such amazing talent and you know not being the one you know to stand up on the stage a lot of people would say oh I'm so sorry I am not because I know that the Lord knows so much more than I do and I'm so thankful that he is keeping me humble by any means necessary that is certainly more important to me than a trophy so um, God is good and I'm so thankful that he's not done when I start to feel good about myself or overly proud, I have a mixtape of everything Simon Cowell said to me, and it goes a little something like, You were terrible. It goes a little something like that, but it's like, it's like an hour and a half long. It takes me a while to get through, but, uh, but I really appreciate Simon playing that role and, and the Lord using him to keep me humble. They're telling us we have to wrap it up. Okay, give us just a second. Uh, real quick, uh, Phil and I had a trip towards the beginning of the, uh, they take you on these long van rides across over the mountains in LA, and we sat with three of our really good friends, and they asked us why we believe what we believe, and we spent about an hour and 15 minutes, remember that, that van ride, about an hour and 15 minutes just kind of sharing our faith. And so I think that in friendships, that the thing that's important for me is just to develop those friendships and be be love and be Christ. And when the opportunity comes to share my faith, then I do. I answered this last year, too. But I'll say it again. that um, I think it's important that we not only preach it, but that we show it. And absolutely, I've had several opportunities to share my faith with the people that I was on American Idol with. And to this day, um, I find that I'm getting calls when they're in need, and they know who's going to pray for them. So I, I would encourage everybody, not just American Idols, but not just to talk about it, but to be about it. So.